Uh, hi guys, welcome back. Uh, my name's uh, Doug, and this is uh, part two of my series, uh, video series on uh, basic processing of astral images in Photoshop. Uh, and this will deal with gradient removal using uh, Gradient Exterminator. Uh, now, Gradient Exterminator is uh, a Photoshop plugin. Um, it's available from rc-astro.com. Uh, the RC stands for Russell Cryman. Uh, he's the guy that developed this, as far as I'm aware. Um, I don't have any affiliation with uh, RC Astro. Um, I, I recommend this product because it's good. Uh, there are ways to um, take out gradients in using Photoshop, uh, using the tools that are available in Photoshop, uh, but it's a little bit involved, a little bit convoluted, so uh, I tend to use gradient exterminator and always have done. Uh, there is a correct way to do it. Um, it's not intuitive, uh, so I shall um, remove the gradient from this image which you can't see at the moment, but uh, will certainly become apparent if, um, you know, on processing. Uh, I'll take the gradient out and it'll also uh, have the um, the benefit of balancing the histogram as well, so it'll be a nice grey colour instead of the, uh, uh, the red colour it is at the moment. Okay, now the first thing we need to do before we uh, take out the gradient is protect uh, those part of the images that uh, we don't want to be lost. Uh, gradient exterminator doesn't recognize nebulosity and galaxies and stuff like that. It's, it doesn't know what's in the image, it just sees pixels. Uh, so we need to protect the parts of the image that um, we don't want uh, destroyed. Uh, and we do that just by selecting them really. So I'm going to use um, this tool, um, poly, the polygonal lasso tool, uh, which is the third one down in the uh, toolbox. Huh? Um, and basically you click, 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 and so on until you've selected the area that you want. Now in this image it's quite straightforward because the galaxy is obvious. Uh, some other images uh, it may not be quite so straightforward and you may have to process the image a little bit to bring out the bits that you want to protect. Um, but that's fine, you can do a little bit of processing and then you can remove the gradient afterwards. Uh, so I've selected the galaxy um, and I'm going to save that selection because we're going to need to use that selection again. So we go up to select, save selection, give it whatever name you want, I'll call it galaxy as that's what it is. Uh, click on OK, and that selection has now been saved. Now we need to uh, invert this selection now because if you have a selection in the image, uh, whatever you do in Photoshop will only work on that selection. Um, but we don't want it to work on this selection, we don't want it to work on the galaxy, we want it to work on everything but the galaxy. So we need to invert the selection. Um, so we go up to Select, Inverse. Uh, and you can see now, hopefully, that there's a dotted line all around the outside of the image. There's still, still the dotted line there, but now it's just it's everything but the galaxy that's been selected, and that's what we want. Um, so the galaxy is protected. So having inverted the selection, we go up to Filter, RC Astro here, Gradient Exterminator. If you do decide to um, go for Gradient Exterminator, there is a, a fee. It's not it's not free, but it's not expensive. Um, uh, once you load it into Photoshop, it will appear here uh, in your under your filters. Uh, so it's RC Astro, RC Astro, Gradient Exterminator. Click on that. Um, and the first thing we do, and this isn't hugely intuitive, uh, make sure that background, uh, balanced background colour is ticked, make sure that's ticked. And the first pass of this, we're going to do two passes, but the first pass, select medium under detail and low under aggressiveness. So remember that, medium and low. Uh, this is why I always do it, I've never had any, uh, once I've found out how to do it correctly that is, uh, I've never had any, uh, any calls to do it any other way and this works fine every time. So medium and low balance background colour and click OK. And this will take a few seconds. So I'm going to pause the video and then come back when it's finished. Okay, that's what we end up with. So the uh, background, uh, the colour's been balanced, uh, which was the purpose of ticking that box. So we now grey instead of red. Uh, and it's done its first pass of the um, uh, of, of removing the gradient. Uh, so we need to do a, another pass of that, so uh, the first thing we need to do is deselect the area and that's Control D to deselect, hold the Control D key down and uh, hit the letter D and that's deselected. Okay, now what we're going to do is uh, select the image again and this time we're going to use the uh, magic wand tool which is this one here, um, I'm going to click on, if you just click anywhere in the image now in this instance it has actually selected the whole image, I know there's a few sparkly bits but they're the stars and, and a bit of the galaxy uh, which haven't been selected but that's fine. Uh, you may find with other images that have got quite a pronounced gradient that you'll click somewhere and not the whole image will be selected. If you need to select other bits of the image 
Um, so you're adding to the selection, you hold the shift key down. Uh, and I don't know if you can see that, it's going to be very, very small on your screen. Holding the shift key down, it adds a little plus next to the magic wand, and that tells you you're adding to the selection. So you just click all over the image until the whole image is selected. Uh, and once you've got that, and we've got the whole image selected here anyway, uh, we're now going to remove our selection so that the gradient is again, prote again protected. So go up to select, load selection this time because we'd already saved the selection. It is Galal. C. I didn't, I didn't spell that right, but it doesn't matter. Uh, that's the selection we want, and we want to subtract from selection this box down here, which is the third one down. So we've got the whole image selected, and we want to take the galaxy out of that selection. So subtract from selection, click OK, and there you go. The galaxy has now been removed from the selection. And now we're going to do our next pass. It's the, it's the final pass. You only do two passes with Gradient Exterminator uh, to finally remove all the gradient. So we go, again go up to uh, Filter, RC Astro, Gradient Exterminator. And this time, instead of medium and low, we're going to select fine and high. Still keep balance background colour ticked. Um, and then click OK. And again, this may take a few seconds, so I'll quickly pause the video while we wait for it to finish. And there you go, that's done. Uh, gradient has now been completely removed. I know you can't see it. Or it's not that immediately obvious, but uh, there was quite a bad gradient in this image. I know that because I've processed it before. And it wouldn't have been apparent until you started processing it. So I deselect everything again. Control D. That deselects. And uh, we can crack on with the next phase next. Okay, guys, this was uh, quite a short video, uh, comparatively speaking. Um, but it made sense to cover sort of gradient removal uh, on its own. Um, now this is only useful to you of course if you're using Photoshop and if you decide to use Gradient Exterminator. If you don't, uh, if you know to either of them then it's uh, completely useless. Um, but uh, Photoshop is one thing, um, if you decide to use Photoshop that's fine. Um, I don't think uh, the Gradient Exterminator is available for other packages like uh, PaintShop Pro and GIMP. Um, but it's certainly available for Photoshop. You may choose to remove gradients in other ways. Um, I've always used gradient exterminator, so I can't really offer you a tutorial on uh, um, removing gradients using Photoshop tools. But there are certainly some tutorials available online, so it might be, might be worth uh, checking. Just do gradient removal using Photoshop or something like that. Um, as far as gradient exterminator goes, it's available all for you know a trial period, so you can give it a try, see what you think. Um, but I, I recommend it because it uh, it makes the job so simple, uh, and it does it takes care of the most horrendous gradients, and I get some awful ones with uh, my kit, um, and it does take care of them very very quickly. Um, all right, guys, that's the end of this one, uh, this uh, part two. Uh, part three is an introduction to adjustment layers. Uh, we've been making these changes in the um, background layer at the moment down here, as you can see. Um, but that's fine, all we've done is uh, converted it to 16-bit, we've cropped the image and now we've taken out a gradient. It's fine to do that in the background layer, uh, but now we're going to start getting into things like levels and curves. And you should really do that in adjustment layers. Um, so the next tutorial will be on what adjustment layers are, how they work, etc, etc. Uh, and then we'll get into the, uh, the fun bit, uh, which is uh, actually processing this image and bringing out the galaxy. Uh, okay, I shall um, see you soon.